what is the capital of Poland? What's the most densely populated city in Poland? What is the most southern city in Poland? What is the city in Poland that is geographically closest to Germany? Today is our very first day exploring Olsztyn and we thought there would be no better place to do that in the city than the Rynek area here, the main square of the city itself and it's giving really like small city type of vibes. It's really cute here. You have some people selling balloons in the distance and postcards. There's loads of cafes and restaurants around and obviously you do have quite a bit of tourists as well exploring this area. Did you know that in the Missouri region of Poland they have around 2,600 lakes. I didn't know that. We certainly didn't know that until now, but that is kind of what made us come here. Um, and we came to the city of Olsztyn just to check this place out. And then we're gonna head towards the water. Just next to the Rynek or the old town square, you have a statue of Copernicus. And that's really fitting because the last three videos that we have posted are from the city of Turun and that was the birthplace of Nicholas Copernicus so that's super interesting and uh, the statue is really cool it's sort of a really large Nicholas Copernicus and uh, really nice just to check out um, I'm sure he was here at some stage during his travels <laughs> We just stumbled across this absolutely beautiful Gothic castle from the 13th century and as it turns out Copernicus and the bishops of Warmia actually lived here for a while. The area around the castle is just super idyllic, um, especially on a sunny day like today. It is Sunday as well, so I assume there's a little bit less um, of tourism happening or a little bit of less tourists around. But right now it's super sunny. You can hear the water sounds of the river kind of in the back. And you do have loads and loads of swifts or swallows. I'm not too sure. We got a comment uh, saying that they are actually swifts and not swallows. So um, I'm not sure which type of bird these birds are um, but this area is just super super nice So we've been in Poland now for pretty much two months, which is pretty crazy to say. We didn't really plan on being here this long. We just ended up kind of coming here and then traveling our way up north and going through all of these amazing places. But what's your top three places that we've been to so far in Poland? Um, in no particular order, I would say my top three are probably Zakopane, uh, Bielsko Biała and Łódź. Nice. <laughs> Interesting choices because um, Łódź and Bielsko Biała definitely don't tend to make a lot of lists, but out of the places that we have visited so far, you guys can scroll back on our videos and see all of the different places we've been to. But for me, my top three would have to be Wrocław, Zakopane and Bielsko Biała. Those three for me so far have been the best. Um, we have not properly explored Olsztyn yet, but we're going to deep dive in here and see. It might make the list after this, who knows? Wow, how beautiful is this? We just found this little river area directly beside the castle and um, you see loads and loads of very blue dragonflies. I've never seen dragonflies that are this blue in my entire life. They kind of are a little bit more on the navy side and their entire body, including the wings, is actually blue. I've never seen that in my life. This park here is called Park Podzamsze and it has a stunning fountain in the middle of it here and you're sort of surrounded by the beautiful backdrop of old Olsztyn. Um, let me tell you something, this town of Olsztyn, or the city of Olsztyn I should say, has a very unique characteristic to it. The history, you can tell, is very, very deep here. 
but there is sort of a new vibe to this place as well. There's plenty of young people around out on bicycles, cycling around and enjoying the nature, and it's an incredibly green place. There is plenty, check this out, plenty of green, beautiful nature everywhere you look. Obviously right now we're in a park, <laughs> so that's obvious, but in the old town even, just up these steps here, you will go into the Reenek and you are literally surrounded by beautiful, green, amazing trees everywhere. It's, you can tell that the nature is very well preserved and looked after around here. And this is totally our first impression, real raw first impression of somewhere in Missouri, We've been told to come to Missouri and the northeast of Poland is supposedly a very off the beaten path area. Not many people come and check out the northeast of Poland. So that's exactly why we came here to see what's going on, see what Missouri is about. And our first stop is obviously the beautiful Olsztyn. Something really funny as we're walking around Poland that we have noticed that we keep doing, we keep looking at these buildings such as this one here directly behind us and we keep asking ourselves what is that and then i just said usually in poland if you come across a red brick building such as this one or any building and you're asking yourself the question what is this it's either going to be a castle a church a żabka or a biedronka <laughs> that's how you know you're in poland <laughs> we have seen quite a few signs all over town um, with yellow shells kind of ye yellow shells on a blue color and in the beginning we were kind of asking ourselves what might this be and then we realized it is uh, signs for the Camino de Santiago pilgrimage, so the Camino walk. Um, I don't know how many people would do it from Poland because it's pretty far, and, but I'm sure if there's so many signs around that there are some people doing it. We just came across lake number one for us in Missouri. It's a, our very first Warmian or Missourian lake that we have witnessed and it's a beautiful one. It is called Dwugi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it is a beautiful lake. Uh, we're on our way now to a place that is known as Plaja Miejski. M-I-E-J-S-K-I. And uh, we're gonna check it out. Supposedly a very beautiful beach area on a very beautiful lake. We made it to Ukiel Lake here in Olsztyn and it looks like it's a very very large lake and um, this is actually the lake that our Airbnb host recommended us to visit. Thanks very much for the recommendation there um, and just from here from the very first view viewing point that we're at right now you can see that you are able to kind of rent some little boats or maybe it's just a harbor for private boats and you have all of these cute little paddle boats everywhere on the lake. I'm sure that we can have a look into renting one of the paddle boats and just like do a little tour a little paddle <laughs> over the lake and um, at first I kind of wanted to walk around but it's so large that I'm sure it would take several hours just to walk around the lake. You can really tell that these lakes are very well looked after and um, just <clears throat> Sorry, just uh, from the first view already because you have loads and loads of seagulls and swans and fish and all of these kind of water related animals that live here in the area, um, which you wouldn't have if this was a very polluted lake. We're here now at the beautiful beach of Plaza Mieszka here on the beautiful Lake Ukiel. And it is really, really special when you have a beach formation like this here on a beautiful, stunning lake area. And um, there's so many people out here. It's absolutely jam packed. Check it out. It's so <laughs> nice giving summer vibes here. It feels like we are at the ocean or something, but it's just a lake. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually really epic. And it's great to see. It's great to see so many people just out enjoying their time here in beautiful Poland during the summer. It is July now, so we are really and truly into the summer months. And we actually just got recognized from our YouTube channel here at this random lake in Olsztyn. Uh, he said that he just watched our videos from Torun and he was really happy and excited to meet us. I'll throw the picture up 
here just as I'm talking about it, but that was really, really nice to be able to meet one of you amazing people that are subscribed to our channel. But yeah, we're gonna go and check the rest of this beautiful lake area out right now. So we just tried to get one of the little paddle boats, um, Rover Vodny, by the way, a bicycle boat, if you want to translate it literally. Rover Vodny. <laughs> Rover <laughs> Vodny. Anyway, they were all booked out. Um, it is a Sunday, it is nice weather, so obviously everybody and their grandma is going to be on a Rover Vodny today. <laughs> so we're just gonna walk around and check out this place. Maybe we can see how nice the water is as well walking along the beach here and I just shot a time lapse walking around two or three minutes and you can see the sheer amount of people that are here at the moment it's unbelievable it's just kind of like a beach you would see in the south of Spain or somewhere at the Adriatic or something like that it's very very cool very interesting to see and it's not somewhere that you would think there would be thousands of people populating a beach here on a lake in northeast Poland. It seems however that people from all over Poland are coming here on the weekend because there's one subscriber that we just met he said that he's from central Poland so and he came with all of his family and like friends of his daughters and so on so I do believe that this is a very popular place where people just kind of come on the weekends when it's nice weather. Thank you. Yeah. We got ourselves uh, two nice bubble teas, but usually I fail at the mission of trying to pierce the lid. So, oh, oh I did it! <laughs> nice, first try. Short heart attack there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've noticed a lot of people around here that are drinking bubble tea. So I decided to get one as well. I went for watermelon flavored tea, or sorry, watermelon flavored bubbles and kiwi flavored tea and it actually kind of looks like it's radioactive or something like that but very interesting nonetheless and it should be pretty refreshing now let's see for me the issue is getting the straw out of the plastic okay i got that sorted and now we're gonna go and give this bad boy a stab as well boom let's enjoy so much determination so we're just sitting here enjoying our bubble teas i'm nearly done they're actually really refreshing. It's a perfect thing to have. It is a pretty hot day today. Thankfully, no rain. The last few days here in Alstin have been just crazy summer thunderstorms. So we had no opportunity to go out and explore. So today is the first day that we are having that chance. While we're sitting here drinking some nice bubble tea, how about some Polish or Poland trivia? I'm going to basically just ask random questions and both of us have to come up with the best answers that we have. Let us know down in the comments if either one of us gets it right. So we're going to start off nice and we're slow. We're probably not going to get it right. <laughs> we're going to get a lot of things wrong, guys, but nice and slow, nice and easy. Oh, what is the capital of Poland? Warsaw. Warsaw. That was pretty easy. Now, what's the most densely populated city in Poland. Warsaw. <laughs> I'm gonna say Dansk just to see if I can get even if there is more people in Warsaw I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of a curveball. Next up what is the most southern city in Poland? Um, I would assume Zakopane. That's the, the city that I know that is the most south. Yeah. Maybe Bielsko Biała but I something around the Tatra mountains. Something in the Tatras, I'm gonna go for Zakopane as well, based on the map that I had a look at not that long ago. It looks like Zakopane is pretty south. What is the city in Poland that is geographically closest to Germany? Um, well, there's probably cities directly behind the border. I would say maybe Szczecin. Szczecin? Stettin in German. Stettin, the S Z E. It's over on the west side or the west coast of Poland. 
Um, let me think of another one. I'm gonna say the same answer, by the way, mm. as Naomi. What is the city in Poland where the bagel originates from? Kraków? We definitely had some videos in Krakow, so I'm gonna agree with Naomi on that one. Um, let me see, what is the city in Poland that... What's the, what's the oldest city in Poland? <laughs> uh, one of the oldest is Wyszyca. Wysz, Wyn Wyszyca. Um, I'm gonna go with Kalisz. Uh, K-A-L-I-S-Z I think it's either gonna be Kalish or Poznan because I've heard a few comments saying that Poland technically started in Poznan or Kalish I think might be the oldest city in all of Poland What is the youngest city in Poland? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of questions are these? Um, Dansk? Dansk or Wrocław, I would say. I'm gonna say either... Well, the youngest in terms of... You have to... You have, do you mean the youngest in terms of historically or the youngest in terms of when they were given back to Poland? I would say the youngest in terms of being built and oh. history-wise as well. Like, what's the youngest city? Hmm, Katowice, maybe? Nice. I would say either Łódź or Katowice. They both seem like relatively newly uh, newly built cities, sorry. Um, I would have said Dansk or Wroclaw in terms of give back, given back to Poland as in like the youngest Polish cities. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, one more Poland trivia question. What is the city in Poland, city slash town, where Zapi Kanka comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Zakopane? <laughs> no, it's not Zakop. I just, I just. It said, could be Zakopane. I just said Zakopane because it sounds similar to Zapi Kanka. But is Zapi Kanka a Goralski, like Zakopane, like mountain food, or does it come from somewhere else? I'm going to guess that it comes from Krakow hmm. or somewhere in southern Poland. I would have said probably Warsaw because there's the most amount of people and the the possibility of somebody coming up with an idea like that is the highest there because it's the most amount of people. <laughs> there you go guys, that was Poland trivia time. We're, pro we're probably going to try and work this in randomly into our videos just because it's nice, it's fun and it lets you guys correct us down in the comments. We walked a little bit down to a more secluded area of the lake itself. Obviously there's still people around going for walks, but um, you're not kind of in the main happening zone. But from here you can really see how many people are in those sand beach areas. Um, there's loads and loads of people and I can really understand it because there are so many things to do. You can, like there's even a Costa coffee, they sell slushies, there's a skate park. There's an arcade. There's an arcade. There's a playground uh, you can rent all of this these water sports type of equipment and so on so it really does make sense that there are so many people there now if I'm gonna be honest my personal favorite thing ultimate favorite thing about Poland is the nature everywhere that we've been in Poland all the way from down in the very far south in Zakopane all the way up here to the northeast of Poland in Olsztyn. The nature is just unbelievably beautiful. Green everywhere, beautiful parks, mountains, lakes, rivers, streams, all of this stuff. It just adds certain depth and layer to the beauty of the country that is Poland. And it just makes it so much more fun to travel and explore around this amazing place. Also, obviously, one of our, our favorite things as well about Poland is the people that you meet. And we just said there a few minutes ago, we happened to bump into one of our subscribers and he was really happy um, to meet us. And he suggested us a few places to check out down around the southeast of Poland, around the area of Lublin. He said to go and check out Kazimierz Dolny. 
um, which a lot of you guys have actually commented about going and checking out as well so who knows maybe in the near future we will be down there but yeah the nature here in Poland is just amazing mind blowing all right so let's get real for a second what is your first impression of Olsztyn let's get real um, first impression of Olsztyn is definitely that this is um, a more relaxed kind of laid-back vibe definitely nice after Turun because um, obviously Turun is beautiful and I love Turun but there are a lot and a lot of people especially the last weekend where there was a big festival happening so um, to me it's I really like Olsztyn because there's less people and it doesn't seem to be as crowded as it was in Turun. Um, I enjoy kind of more the nature type of places that are more laid back and at a slower pace. So I really like it here. Nice, yeah. For me, first impressions of Olsztyn, I'm going to be totally honest. We took the train from Turun to here and when we got off the train, I said to Naomi, oh my God, this train station is really ugly. Um, <laughs> we went to the main station in the kind of the old town area of Olsztyn. Gwawni? Uh, Olsztyn Gwawni. Gwawni. And the station itself was kind of dirty. There was trash everywhere. And I was like, oh my God, um, this is a totally something that we haven't seen yet in Poland. Everywhere that we've been so far in Poland has been impeccably clean and very, very beautifully kept. But when we arrived at this station, I was like, oh my God, there's trash everywhere. And I didn't know what to think. Then we made our way to our accommodation. We met our amazing Airbnb host who actually recognized us from YouTube. So she was kind enough to recommend us to come and check out this beach plaza area here in Mieski. Um, I'm very, very thankful for her recommending that to us because this place is absolutely stunning. Then today we had our very first impression of the old town of Olsztyn and wow, it is beautiful. It's very, very, very stunning all over the architecture, coffee shops, the vibe and atmosphere in general, as Naomi said, it's just very laid back, something a little bit different than Torun. So it is a very, very welcome uh, sort of place for us to be right now because we can kind of decompress mentally and get ourselves, set ourselves up for more travel through Poland. I definitely like this place and I cannot wait to have a look around more at these lakes because today we have beautiful weather and it couldn't be a more beautiful setup for us right now. It's maybe a little bit of a recommendation as well for the local authorities here. Um, I was kind of looking around at the train station where all of that trash was and there was not a single uh, bin inside. So maybe um, if this city and this area would be a little bit more accommodating for tourists, especially on the first impression, um, if you would just put a few bins there, I'm sure that uh, tourists would have a very, very positive first impression of Olsztyn. Now guys, something that we like to give you at some, or in some of our videos is more of like a real world, real time view of what it's like in the actual location. Because I know a lot of you guys that are watching are actually Polish and you might be from Olsztyn itself. So we want to give you guys an inside look of what Olsztyn looks like right now on a Sunday, a sunny Sunday afternoon. So here you go. I think if we were to grow up in Olsztyn and have all of the amenities here with the beach, with all of the beach volleyball and skate parks and so on, both of us would have really, really loved this place. Yeah, I was actually just having a conversation with Naomi while we were walking through this area here and I was saying there needs to be more of this all over Europe because where I grew up in 
in Dublin, in Ireland. It's something that is definitely lacking for a lot of young people. When I was growing up, um, even now up until this very day, if you're 15, 16, 17, 18 years old and you are wondering what you're gonna do, you have nowhere to go and socialize with your friends. You might just go to a park or go and try and find somewhere where you can buy some beer and go and sneak into a park with your friends and that's usually what ends up happening. But if you have a place such as this with nice volleyball, tennis, skate parks, beautiful lake even set up with a man-made beach. I know Ireland doesn't have the weather for that, but even just in general, nice activities that are set up for young people to come and check out and socialize. One big pro as well is that everything that you saw today outside of the bubble tea obviously and the water sports is for free so if you were to come here as a younger person with your friends you could use the beach for free or you could use the volleyball courts for free and so on and i think that's what's really lacking all over europe that lake area that we were at right now by the way is only like a 20 to 30 minute walk away from the center so you can definitely walk out there or if you want even rent a bicycle or something like that yeah guys um this video was just kind of our quick little first impression of missouri and the amazing city of Austin. there's a car pulling up behind us <laughs> <laughs> but we're back now at our airbnb area um shout out to the owner of our airbnb i hope you're watching this video i know you know us from youtube so mm -hmm. thank you very very much for accommodating us in that beautiful room we're gonna put the link to our airbnb down in the bottom as well so in case you're interested in coming to Olstein and looking for a relatively good priced accommodation definitely check out this airbnb absolutely but uh guys Austin is beautiful check it out if you haven't already like everywhere so far that we've been in poland we are in love my name is luke my name is naomi we are the two mad explorers and this is your reminder to keep exploring see you guys in the next video thanks for watching Ciao.